Hey everybody, Sarah here. So it's actually Tuesday and this will probably go up today as well. But I want to talk about Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, so, alright, spoilers ahead for people who haven't seen it yet. Uh, where have you been? Um, yeah, so switch off now if you don't want to know any spoilers. But um, I'm not going to go completely into detail about it. Um, I want to see it was a disappointment, like people were saying, like it's going to be a real disappointment. I want to say it was a disappointment for me in that way. The disappointment for me is about Nikolai. Not, not Nikolai's a disappointment, but, but I'm going to get to it anyway. Alright, so, um, last week I said in my video about, I don't care who gets killed off in it or whatever as long as um, Jamie's alive and Bronze alive and I had so many theories I read so many theories and I had so many theories about what could happen with Jamie in it and it completely ruined that from the moment they showed Tyrion going down to the um I was for, I see, I've forgotten again what they call it. Where t uh, Jamie and Cersei were, were. And I was like, oh, he's going to find the bodies, he's going to find the bodies, he's going to find the bodies. Then they showed a hand, the gold hand. And I was like, is his hand? Is he there? I mean, he could have like, taken a hand off or something and got out. Or it came off at some point, I don't know. So I thought, please, please, please. And then they showed Cersei. And I was like, well, Cersei's there, so where's Jamie? And then I saw Jamie, and I was like, you completely ruined it. But, um, yeah, actually, I, w I won't go into that bit yet. So, um, yeah, I was kind of like, for the whole episode, though, I was like, was he dead? Was he dead? Is he going to pop up at some point? Um, but, yeah, that didn't happen. But, I, yeah, <laughs> when people are doing, like, alternate, um, ways of what could have happened that we didn't see and they were like after that scene Tyr you know when Tyrion was like breaking down what happens if um suddenly there was this gasp and Jamie woke up and then he smuggled him off because what's his name is it Davos he's seen no who's the one for Dr. Ellis um who's the one for Dr. Who I remember Dr. Who well, I can't even think um, that's Davros. Davros, that's the one in Doctor. <laughs> no, yeah, Davros. He he hadn't been in much of the episode. I think he was near the beginning, just before they showed Tyrion and his siblings. Then they showed um. Then they showed him like when they had like them all there like. Uh, Sansa and Arya and Sam and Brienne and whoever else was there. So I saw that and he was there and I, he hadn't been in much of it between the bit in the beginning and that bit. And somebody was saying about if Jamie woke up, they smuggled him off. He smuggled him off and that's why he didn't see much of him until that point. So, um... That's what I'm. That's what I'm believing, and I haven't read the books yet. But I'm hoping the books end that way. That well, not that way, but the books end that Jamie doesn't get killed off. Cause I am really pissed off about that. Cause I mean, oh, I don't know. I just really, really, really. Ugh. Cause didn't I watch the pogrom for for Jerome Flynn, and bloody Nikolai got me dragged in, and then now. I get heartbroken over them getting off his character. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm believing that he's not dead. I'm wasn't I'm in denial about it. Um, yeah, so there's that. And yeah, and the other bit is like when um, Brienne was um, writing in the book, and she was writing, you know, because there hadn't been much said about um, Jamie. So she, she was writing all that, and then she said, like, died protecting his queen. 
And like people say, yeah, but she, you see, she, she said he's dead. That doesn't mean anything. She could have been saying that to protect him. He doesn't want to be known as Jamie Lannister anymore. Just, just Jamie or whatever. So like I said, that's what I'm believing. Good thing coming out. Oh no, actually, um, not going to do that bit. Um, not yet. Um, I wasn't sure who was going to be. I but actually, like I said, I was convinced that Jamie was going to be alive. Somehow, managed to get out, kill Daenerys. I mean, he's been King Slayer, he could be the Queen Slayer, and then he was um, somehow end up being king. That's what I was convinced of. So when I knew that wasn't going to happen, I was like, "Who's it going to be?" I didn't want it to be Arya. I didn't want it to be Sansa. I knew it wasn't going to be Jon. So I was like, "Who's it going to be?" And then people kept mentioning Bran, and I was like. I can see it going that way, and that's the way it did go. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then... And then United Pod. United Pod, because I'll, so many people mentioned that, but I didn't think they were going to knight him, but obviously I think Brienne must have done that. Um, yeah, now let's get to the person I, that made me get into this program, was Joan Flynn. I mean, he wasn't in it much like... Um, to start with, or was it like halfway through the first season or something? And it wasn't in like every single episode and all that, so you know, I kind of thought he's not going to be in it right at the end. And the, um, I think he did an, an interview. Oh, no, the funny thing is, I think he did an interview and he said something, so people were taking that as he's not in it much, which he wasn't in it much really in this last season, but I mean. He, he was in it, but he just wasn't in it much. So, um, and then there was, I, think, I don't know if it was before the season started or if it was just after the first episode. And they were going on about who's likely to get killed off next and all that. And when they said it's likely to get killed off next, this is either before the first episode or just after it. And they were saying Bron. So I am glad that he actually got right to the final episode. Didn't get killed even in the final episode. He is Lord of High Garden, which Tyrion promised. He is the Master of Coin and all that kind of stuff. So that kind of cheered me up. I'm still disappointed in what they've done to Jamie. Um, I kind of wasn't expecting John to do what he did. I kind of was, but I kind of wasn't. Like I said, I thought it was going to be Jamie. Jamie going to be alive. He was going to kill her. So, when Jamie, uh, not Jamie, when uh, John went in the throne room, I think, well, I'm saying throne room, wasn't much of a room, right? but he, um, and he was talking to her in that, and then they were kissing, and I was like, oh, for God's sake, John, just sort your head out or whatever, I don't know, and then all of a sudden, you just see this, like, you could see his arm go like that, or his body go like that. And he was this noise, and I was like, hang on, did she do that to him, or did he do that to her? So he actually killed him, and I was like, oh, thank God for that, we don't have to, do we don't have to deal with Daenerys anymore. But not only that, I wasn't expecting it to be, like, was it halfway through the episode or something. I thought it was going to be way later. Um, yeah, so, that's all I'm saying about this episode. Like I said, in my head, and probably quite a lot of other, well, maybe not, a lot of other fans, but a lot of other Jamie slash Nikolai fans. I think they're all going to be thinking, look at it this way rather than that way. He woke up after Tyrion had his breakdown. Well, not his breakdown, he broke down. And um, he gasped, woke up, helped out to the, um, the thing, the boat, taken somewhere and Brienne knows, but she can't do anything yet. But she'll be going to talk or um, wherever they took him. So, yeah, that's what I am allow myself to think. And he's not Jamie Lannister anymore. It's just Jamie. Um, yeah. But like I said, that... <laughs> and the thing is, before I start, before the episode started, I was... Um, 
I was thinking, I'm not going to look at the names coming up. Because I'm going to be annoyed if I'm looking at it. And his name doesn't come up. Um, Nikolai's name doesn't come up. And, you know, I was trying not to look at it. I looked at it too soon. And I just caught um, the last bit of his surname. And I was like, his name's come up. His name's come up. Um, well, it's God, I'm actually tearing up now. Um, yeah, I was like, his name's come up. And um, so I had my hopes kind of like built up even more then. Because I was like, he's in it, he's actually in it, he's actually in it. So for it to just, his name just to be on there because... Because they're showing him and Cersei like dead, but I thought I should have realised that could have been the case. I mean, I knew it was probably going to be the case, but I had hope. But I knew it should have been the case because they done the same with Ian Glenn and um, Alfie Allen as well. Did the same with them. Then um, after that, um, in the last of the start at the beginning of the last of the Starks episode. So. Um, yeah. So I will see you in my next video. This is going up today, so it probably won't. Well, it won't be one on Thursday. Um. Yeah. So I'll see you then next week. Probably Thursday. Cause I will have to talk about Game of Thrones. Although I'll probably find something to talk about. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.